bit nervous. As you can't tell. And uh, I knew that I had broken my rib. It was an awesome trip. Yeah, it was excellent. Great haul. He's under, folks. He's under. Attempt one, unsuccessful. Oh, let's see that. It's super tricky sometimes not to get all like nervous and, and anxious kayaking around here because I have so little information on the tides and the wind forecasts aren't completely reliable. Um, all right, I just pulled up at the spot where I uh, first arrived in Indonesia. Okay. Tanjung Balai Kalimun. I got all the ship captains here <laughs> nice taking <to> selfies, <laughs> <laughs> asking me where I've been, where I'm going. All right, now I just need to get my uh, passport stamp. Hopefully, yeah. that's all good. <laughs> down here. Oh, it's all good. I'm gonna knock around a bit, but I think it should be okay. What are we all looking at? What's down there? <laughs> ah, yes. The kayak. easier than coming in. They remembered me. It was all good. There was a scare there for a bit because they thought I had come in from another country. But I had been here all the time, so it was all good. Time to get back in the old kayak and head out. Awesome. It's been uh, almost exactly five months here in Indonesia and I just got my stamp out here at the ferry terminal. A bunch of people are just arriving, I'm guessing from Malaysia. Did I not to say Indonesia? It's been awesome. Oh, Alright, left Karimun behind me, well left Tanjung Balai behind me. Karimun is beside me here. Straight ahead of me is an island that I think I'm going to camp on for the night because my arms and hands are like super sore right now. My hands are going numb, definitely getting the carpal tunnel in my hands. Yeah, so if I camp on this island here, then I just have about a 10 mile or 16 kilometer uh, paddle across over into the clouds there is the southernmost point of mainland Asia in Malaysia. And then just over there, is Singapore so I gotta avoid Singapore and stick to the Malaysian side because Singapore is super strict and they arrest me <laughs> so I want to make sure I have a sort of a shorter hop where the wind and currents can't necessarily blow me or push me towards Singapore so tomorrow morning it's looking pretty ideal I hope I think depending on how uh, reliable the information is I have to make that hop across and then I'll still have the tide to push me up up the channel that's between Johor Bahru and Singapore and uh, towards where I'm staying in uh, Puteri Harbor. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm definitely tired. I'm gonna have a nice long rest today. It's, it's only about one in the afternoon. Almost high tide so I'm gonna lose, uh, I'm probably gonna have the water coming against me here. So I wanna keep paddling. Yeah, I'm stoked. I got, got out of Indonesia. I just 
after I stamped out, I actually went to a restaurant that was still in Indonesia to, to get some food. Got a tasty fish. Actually, probably the most expensive fish I've had in Indonesia. It was 80,000 rupiah, which is like $8. Doesn't sound like a lot, but, you know, for a fish here, like, that's that's crazy expensive. I guess because uh, Karimun's a bit of a tourist island, so they can charge Singapore prices a bit more. Or Malaysia prices. Because, yeah, like, you, you never pay that much for a meal anywhere, really. Maybe if you're eating Western food in some fancy Western restaurant, you might pay that. But pretty much everywhere I've been, it's hard to spend that much on one dish. So, yeah, the whole thing, like, costs... My, my lunch was, like, $14. It was crazy. I mean, I had the fish. I had some another vegetable dish. I had an avocado milkshake. I had a coffee and an iced tea. And they filled up all my water, so... I mean, it's definitely worth it, but definitely also a ripoff <laughs> for Indonesia. That is, I was happy though. I, I have some Indonesian money that I need to get rid of anyway, so it's all good. Keep riding here. Maybe I should put my sunnies on. It's getting a bit bright. Getting tired. My shoulder is getting really sore, and I'm just feeling pretty exhausted ready to eat some food it's gonna have a snack but i'm just so close to finding a place to sleep for the night on this island which is i think mostly inhabited there might be a little fish camp around the corner if i recall correctly right in here it looks like there might be a beach um, i'm gonna check it out i keep on thinking about the island where they put all the remaining sumatran tigers pretty sure it's not this one but can't help but have that thought maybe if this there's not a lot of people on this island. There could be a lot of monkeys, which would be cool unless they're very aggressive and they want to steal all my food and bother me at night. We'll see. I'm going to go check in here, see what's, see what's up in there. Let's do that. Looks like somebody might actually live in here. A stick and a buoy and some other stick stuff. Huh. I don't think anybody lives here. But it does look like somebody did at one point until the high tide washed them away. What a mess. Would be nice if it was clean and not soaking wet. So they even had a TV over there. All right, I guess I'll pass on this and keep on going. Hopefully find something further down the way. See what I can find. <coughs> All right, I uh, paddled down the way a little bit. Found another little cove entrance here. Uh, this one doesn't have as nice of a beach. And it's gonna be a bit of a rocky pullout for the kayak, but I think it's gonna work. Mosquitoes are gnarly. I had like 20 on me just there, but I put some uh, citronella on me, so they've stopped coming for me for now. So yeah, this is. Uh, this is the spot. As you can see, nobody's cleaned the beach here recently. Somebody has definitely, whoa. I gotta focus on where I'm walking. Somebody's definitely set up camp here in the past. Sounds like there's monkeys around. You can see the little houses here. I'm thinking I'll probably just put the tent right here though. It's a good spot. Maybe drag the kayak up, up into this path here. Keep it away from the high tide and from prying eyes. Should be good. All right, I got the tent set up. Nice flat ground. Got the kayak pulled up, well above high tide. Still could see it from the ocean, but I don't think anybody's gonna come in here and try and snag it. Um, that'd be pretty interesting if they did. I'm pretty tired. I think I'm gonna climb in the tent, inflate the thermarest, eat some sardines and some chocolate pudding maybe. Look at that, it's like a little kid's toy of some sort. Hmm. Whole family was living here at one point. Tomorrow, I cross the Malacca Strait and head to Johor Bahru. For now, I sleep. Maybe I should stretch, definitely stretch. Oh, well, last night I was waking up and my whole body was like frozen solid, sore. Hand is numb. It's probably gonna be similar tonight, but probably have a bit more peaceful sleep here on the edge of the jungle. 
the monkeys chirping behind me. I wish I could have a freshwater shower. Maybe there's a waterfall over there. I'm gonna go check it out. It's super sketchy. Oh yeah, there is fresh water. Not surprising these folks know where to pick themselves a camp. I'm definitely gonna have a little bath before I climb in the tent. That is sweet. I wonder if I kept on going up, there'd be a, even a bigger pool. Might as well check it out now. There's definitely a bigger pool here. I don't know where that path goes to. I'm tempted to go check it out, but I'm also tired enough that I don't really want to. If you were here with me, definitely work up the energy to do it. But right now I'm gonna shower and eat and lie down. I wonder what's up there. Maybe some fields, maybe they're growing some crops up there. Looks like at one point they had a nice walkway going down this whole way. Oh, shit. Oh, watch out for that. Place could be booby trapped. <laughs> oh, I don't think so, but there's probably some nails and shit hanging around. Mm, mushroom. Bathing time. about 4 p.m. here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll be up for a little bit longer. I'm gonna eat a lot. 